We're joined now by the Creighton Blue Jays. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Please remember to sil silence your cell phones, raise your hand if you'd like to ask, ask a question and introduce yourself and your media affiliation. Please note that the recording of press conferences on cameras or on cell phones is prohibited throughout the rest of the Midwest Regional. Joining us from Creighton, head coach Greg, Mc Greg McDermott, Stephen Ashworth, Ryan Kalkbrenner, and Bailey Shire Baylor Shireman. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Coach, can you please start us out with an opening statement and then we'll go to questions. C congrats uh, to Tennessee. Um, you know, they've, they've got a heck of a team, and they, they played really well tonight, really shot the basketball well. Um, <clears throat> I've known Coach Barnes a long time. Um, there's a lot of good people in this business. Um, but you have a hard time finding one better than him. So uh, while I'm disappointed uh, that this journey's come to an end, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him uh, and his program. Uh, he's, he's a first-class uh, person and coach, and... Uh, he's, he's what's right about this business, but uh, I'm <clears throat> really proud of what we've accomplished this year to get back uh, on this stage. Uh, these guys have been selfless every step of the way, and uh, they've been absolutely a joy to coach. Uh, so you, you hate for that to be over, and, and I hope that uh, once the hurt subsides, that they can look in the mirror and understand um, what they've accomplished. And, Sometimes in sport, the hardest thing to do is what you're supposed to do. And, you know, Baylor, you know, Trey, Bello, and Kalk have been here two years, and Steven this year. <clears throat> We've been preseason top 10 both years. Uh, we've had to carry the weight of that expectation on our shoulders uh, for two straight years, and they've handled it like champions. Um, and that's leadership, and that's uh, focus and understanding who we are. Uh, and stand connected. And these guys have, from a leadership standpoint, the four up here and Trey have, uh, <clears throat> they've been incredible. And they've been a great example to the young guys in our program. Uh, I've learned a lot from them, uh, having the opportunity to be around them every day. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's sad that it's over, but man, was it, uh, was it fun while it happened. Thanks, Coach. We're also joined by Francisco Farabello. We'll uh, open it up for questions for the student athletes first, please, starting on the left side with Larry. Larry Leach in the AP. Steven, can you talk about their defense from logo to rim and just how relentless it is? Yeah, they're a very talented defensive team. And uh, in the first half, I felt like we struggled to get uh, in the paint and then uh, kick it out for three-point shots or find other ways to facilitate. But I think as the game went on, Kalk did a great job of setting high ball screens, and uh, then we were also able to release the pressure by throwing it into him and letting him go to work. And so uh, throughout the game, I think that we got it more and more figured out, but they're a very talented defensive team. Additional questions for the players, please. Front row right. Matty Marines from White and Blue Review. Either Ryan or Baylor, please. Uh, I guess the rub with this event is that 67 teams are kind of going to experience what you experienced. Can you... I guess what's going through your minds right now as you just try to encapsulate all that you guys have done? Ryan, you want to start us with that one? Uh, yeah, I mean, you you go into this tournament with high expectations and you want to make it as far as you can. And after a loss like this, the loss hurts. And and you you, you wanted to go further, but I mean, you take a step back and look at the journey you've been able to go on with the team and people you've had on your team. And it's hard to do that right now. The further we get away from this game, the more and more I'll appreciate it because this is a very, very special group, <coughs> players, staff, everyone involved. Like, it's just a special, special group to be a part of. And even though it didn't end the way we wanted it to, we're going to look back on this year team group and just for me personally I'm just grateful to be a part of it. Baylor you want to add to that? Yeah kind of going off what Kulk said you know um, obviously disappointed that we lost um, you know we, we had big goals coming into the year and um, we didn't necessarily accomplish everything we set out to do but um, I think you know obviously like I said disappointed and lost but more sad and about the fact that um, you know I'll never be able to put on this Creighton uniform again um, I'll never be able to play with this group of guys, um, and I'll never be able to play for Coach Mack again. Um, and I think that's um, really what um, 
<clears throat> is is going through my mind right now is just the the reality that um, it's over for me, and uh, you know it's just been an absolute blessing to be able to put on this uniform and play for Coach Mack and play with these guys. So. Looks like we got a question in the third row on the right. Chris McKinder, AP Broadcasting. Um, Baylor or Steven, could you kind of reflect on what happened during that 18 nothing run that they had early in the second half? And then what does it say about you guys that you were able to cut it to three, but you had to work so hard to kind of get back? Steven, want to take that one? Sure. Yeah, they uh, came out in the second half, a lot of energy, and uh, we also ignited that fire, I think, with a few mistakes to add on top of that allowed them to get out in transition and, and get their rhythm going. And uh, it's always hard uh, to come back from a run like that. But basketball is a game of runs. And I think that uh, you know the biggest thing about this team that I've just learned the whole year being a part of this group is that it's a team with a lot of uh, grit and a team with a lot of experience. And so to be able to answer that run uh, possession by possession, we understand there's no 16-point play. And so you have to approach it that way. And it was, Obviously, uh, exciting and, and proud of this group to fight back the way that we did. And uh, we were very close to, to turning that uh, on them. But they made some plays down the stretch as well to answer our run as well. Back to the first row here on the right. For Bello, uh, you know, Mac and the guys have talked over these last two years about just how hard your job has kind of been to come in from a different school and take on a role that isn't necessarily star studded. How hard was that to do? in terms of the challenge of doing it every day, and then what has it kind of meant to you to embrace that and accomplish what you guys have accomplished? Um, it, it, I guess it's hard from the confidence standpoint because it's just the, the nature of the role that I had. But I mean, coaching staff and players w made it way easier than, than, than what it should be, um, especially because we are such a, such a close group of guys. Um, that all all we want to do is win uh, and win at the highest level, and just being able to contribute to that and 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 put the the, the things that I can bring to the table um, made it a lot a lot easier. Go back to the left side, third row. West Rucker, twenty four seven Sports. Question for Stephen. Obviously, basketball is a five on five game, but but you and Ziegler are both sort of emotional guys, kind of really like to, to kind of to lead the line a little bit and, and go back and forth. How much did you enjoy that matchup tonight? Yeah, he's a very talented player. And honestly, watching his film, it was uh, fun to learn a few things from him and see how, uh, how he defends and how he just does his role for his team. And uh, it was a fun experience and atmosphere tonight. Just so grateful to my family, my friends, and. Blue Jay Nation for, for coming out in the way that they did. It's what makes playing college basketball so special because you don't get crowds like that anywhere else. And so it was definitely fun. And obviously, when you're uh, put in a position to be the point guard, there's a vocal leadership that needs to come through. And he does a great job leading his team. And uh, obviously, I, I take pride in the ability to hopefully communicate what Coach Mack is, is wanting for the team to do as well. Anything else for the student athletes? Okay, thanks guys, appreciate it. You can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with Coach McDermott. We'll start with Pat in the fourth brother. Pat Forty from uh, Sports Illustrated. You played, I think it was Triangle and Two uh, there for quite a while. What did you see there and what uh, the, that that was effective and allowed you to make that comeback? It's called desperation, I think. <laughs> uh, and we went, we went to zone uh, for one possession when Kinect was out. Uh, and I think we got to stop. And then he came back in, and obviously I w didn't feel comfortable uh, the, with the potential of letting him stand. And we practiced a triangle and two uh, a fair amount in practice. We hadn't used it all year, and uh, so we, you know, we didn't have anything to lose at that point. And and I thought our guys executed to perfection, and it gave gave ourselves a chance to get come back and and win the game. So, um, but that you know obviously that eighteen zero run uh, was a. You know, we, we really haven't had anybody do that to us this year. I think it was less than five minutes. I mean, it, it seemed like a long time, uh, but uh, we haven't had to overcome something like that. And, and, you know, we had to pull something out of our hat that we hadn't used. Thanks, Coach. We're going to go to the right side, second row first. John Walker, Omaha World Herald. Mac, you, you've talked all season about how, how much of a joy this group has been to coach. What's going through your mind right now that, that it's over? 
Yeah, I mean, just glancing at the stat sheet and looking at the names, and you know, a lot of these guys aren't going to be back, um, and that's uh, it's tough. Yet, it's been such a, I mean, an honor to coach them. I mean, Francisco Ferrobello, when I hugged him after the game, uh, coming off the floor, he apologized to me, and I, I was like, really? <laughs> like, uh, but that's what he's about. You know, he's about giving everything he can. Uh, to this team and doing everything he can to try to help us win, and you know, in that moment he's blaming himself, and I, and you know, I, obviously I, there's no place for that. But you know, Baylor Sharman comes here. Uh, he guarded four men once in a while in the Summit League. A lot of times he didn't guard anybody, uh, and tonight he guards Dalton Connect. So talk about progress and talk about understanding. After going through the Big East last year one time. Like, I've got to get better at some stuff. And then going to work and doing it. Um, you know, it's he's just been a pleasure to coach. And, you know, Trey's, Trey's gotten better every single year. Uh, it's been fun to watch. And he's hurting right now, but, you know, we're, we're not here without him or where we were last year without him or the year before that without him. And then Kalk's just been the gentle giant, man. He's uh, he just he doesn't like the spotlight. Um, he just goes to work. And he does things that impact the game in, in so many ways. So uh, they've been an absolute pleasure to coach. And, and like I said, I've, uh, I've, I've learned a lot. And I've become better because I've, I've had the opportunity to be around them. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to the first row here. Hey, hey Mac, Tom Chattel, World Herald. Um, you're certainly known for being able to get guys shots, get them open uh, with scheme and all, all, all the things you do. How hard was that tonight? Uh, it, it was more difficult because uh, you know Tennessee does a good job of upsetting your rhythm, and you know Ziegler is you know such an uh, elite on-ball defender that it it upsets your timing of what you're trying to do. So you know as you saw, we 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 tried to have some other guys initiate offense at times, and you know while uh, they had a guy not play, uh, you know that that put. Mayshack in the game more, and and he he disrupts things much like Ziegler does. So he ended up on Trey to start the game, Ziegler on 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 Steven, and it was hard to really initiate any offense. I thought once we settled in, we got some decent shots. Uh, you know, we got it to call twelve times down there. Uh, he missed a few that he normally makes, and you know it's a make shot miss, miss shot game. Tennessee late in the year against. Mississippi State in the conference tournament didn't shoot it well. They didn't shoot it well against Texas. They made shots tonight, and you know that's that's what it comes down to. You know, it, we we were going to have to make more three point shots in Tennessee to win this game, um, and the fact that we still had a chance when those numbers were even um, is a credit to our guys. Final two coaches, we're right here in the third row, and then we'll bring back to the front row. Ryan Sylvia, Rivals.com. Just how tough is it? You touched on it, but how tough is it to deal with Jemai Meshack kind of doing the dirty work for Tennessee? Well, he's uh, he's talented. You know, he he uh, he impacts the game so much by not really scoring that much. You know, he doesn't have to shoot. He rebounds it. He got some. You know, he was he was at the receiving end of some of those offensive rebounds during that stretch. I mean, I think we're up 39-37. Um, we got our first shot. Defense was pretty good, and he goes and you know. Knocks out a couple rebounds, kicks it out. They hit threes. Uh, he forced a few turnovers. He's just uh, he's really talented, and and you know Rick does a great job of using him and putting him in spots where he can be successful. We'll wrap it up here in the front row. <coughs> yeah, Mac, just on Baylor. I mean, he was you know seemed like he was the head of the snake on both ends of the floor, guarding a first team All American, dropping twenty five, giving you guys a chance. What what went into that performance, and how? How special do you think it was, even in a loss? I mean, to to exert the energy that he had to exert to guard Connect. I mean, it's incredible. You know, the, the, Dalton wasn't guarding him. You know, so so Baylor had to. You know, he had double duty because we needed him to be a presence offensively for us, and we needed him to try to slow him down. And he he did a great job. You know, he hit. He hit one three in transition uh, where he got loose. He hit one against on the triangle of two coming to the left. And then I think the other one he hit in trade along the baseline. So, you know, Baylor, Baylor didn't give up a three to a first team All American. And uh, it was clear tonight there were two All Americans on the floor. 
coach. Thanks. Oh, one more. Yeah, Mac. Um, you you finished second, Big East, uh, Sweet Sixteen. Um, you, had, you had three or four guys playing almost all the minutes all year. Uh, Jason Green was not available for a lot of it. Um, did this group get as much out of the season as as they could? <clears throat> Yes and no. You know, it's hard to get to this point. Uh, you know, it's hard to play in the Sweet 16. A lot of things have to happen during the year. Um, the, the Big East absolutely prepares you for everything you're going to see. Like, down 16 to, you know, one of the best defensive teams in the country, you, you don't come back and give yourself a chance unless you've been battle tested. and. There's such good coaching and such elite programs in the Big East that we have the belief that, you know, we, we've played against UConn, we've played against Marquette, we've played against Providence and Villanova and Seton Hall and a lot of really good basketball teams. Um, and we can do this one step at a time. Um, but, you know, our, our, our guys developed as, you, as the years have gone on. Mason's gotten better, Jason's gotten better. Uh, we're excited about some of the young guys in our program. Um, and obviously, we, you know, we've got to hit the recruiting trail. Um, and that's a little easier to do than it used to be uh, with the transfer portal. So uh, <clears throat> it's been an incredible uh, four-year run that, you know, Kalk is the one guy that's been part of that all four years. Um, and, uh, you know, our program is in a position and we're supported uh, by the institution and our department uh, in a way that we need to continue to be successful. So. Uh, you know, we, we tell our guys to move to the next play all the time. And while we're going to be disappointed about this loss, um, you know, my staff and I are going to get to work and, and try to put together a group that can get back to this point. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate Thank your you. time.